Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Macroeconomics. In this video, we're going to talk about the three types of unemployment. The first type of unemployment is known as frictional unemployment. In general, frictional unemployment is temporary. So if you quit your job to find something better, that's frictional unemployment. If you're fired, you have to find a new job. Frictional unemployment. If you're a recent college graduate trying to find that first gig, you're frictionally unemployed. If you're a seasonal employee, like a landscaper in the middle of the winter, you might not have a job for a few months, but once the springtime rolls around, you're up and running again. Structural unemployment is generally long-term. It's long-term because there's a mismatch of skills. So if you are structurally unemployed, chances are you have to move or go back to school for retraining. So structural unemployment occurs if you are replaced by new technology, or if consumers no longer demand the goods that you produce. The third type of unemployment is known as cyclical unemployment. If you are laid off because the economy is in recession, that is, it's contracting along the business cycle, that's cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment is generally bad because the economy is not doing well. The natural rate of unemployment includes frictional and structural unemployment. So if our economy has an unemployment rate that is above our natural rate, we are experiencing cyclical unemployment. That wraps up this Noble Review session on the three types of unemployment. You should understand the differences between the three types, as well as how to calculate the unemployment rate.